Hi everyone, um, whoever is the one person that has joined. Um, thank you so much. And if you're watching this later, um, I hope you enjoy the live. So I'm at the university studio right now. Um, again, even after the term, the term is over, um, I received my grades this morning and I'm really happy with it. So what am I doing here today? All right, so, so um, for, for my experiments in figure and form class, um, this is a part, this is the second assignment that we had. Um, I'll explain what the assignment is, but basically it's a triptych that I made and, um, uh, uh, and, and then in the critique, we, I received um, very helpful feedback that might enhance this work and also reinforce um, what I wanted to express in the piece. So um, basically this is, I should probably show it to you. Yes, now you can see. So this is part of the triptych. This is the second panel. Um, there's one on the right and then the, there's one on the left. And I will show how the whole thing looks at the end of this video. So make sure to stay tuned and follow me while I draw. Also, while I'm drawing, I'm also going to explain what the assignment was, um, what things we had to do um, in terms of research, and then um, what my concept was, um, how the critique went, and then also what things I'm going to add here. And then, um, yeah, the formal and the conceptual elements or decisions that I made. So why did I make those decisions and how are they helping me to reinforce the concept that I want to express? So that is this live about, and I hope you enjoy it. So firstly, um, I'll start with what the assignment was. Um, just a second. All right, so um, the assignment was to make uh, a figurative artwork of a body um, as a political site, which I know is not very clear when I say it like that. So I'm just gonna read some things from our assignment brief here. So basically create a figurative artwork that considers the body as political site, working from a personal place. You may decide on the scale and the medium of the piece, taking into consideration the type of impact you want to have on a, on a viewer. A small handheld book is intimate and one-on-one, -on -one, while a six feet drawing is public and assertive. So um, my triptych is um, all 22 by 30 inches each. So basically this whole um, drawing, drawing paper is 22 by 30 inches. And then there's um, two more of these. And so it's pretty big, I believe. For my, for me, I'm not I'm not at all used to drawing on a big scale. Um, actually, now I am because of um, the university minimum requirements on, on the size of papers. So, and then also we had to draw one six feet um, life size self portrait, which I had um, so fun, so much fun with. By the way. Um, if you don't know where to follow me, 
Uh, I have linked in the description uh, my link tree where I have links of all of my social media handles, um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and also my website. And also I've probably linked my website separately in the description of this video. So go check that out. You can see all my final works there on the on my website. It's basically a portfolio website. So um, you can browse around my works and let me know how you like it. All right. So that was the assignment brief. Um, and then and for the research, we had to research two contemporary figurative artists that inspires your artwork in concept or form. So we had to research this artist, understand their process, context, um, and then conduct a formal analysis of um, one of their chosen works. And then we had to write a paper, a research paper about what we want to draw or what we want to, what our concept is. And then also um, we had to make a study or a thumbnail sketch um, on which we had to at least work for 30 minutes um, in order to show our professors what our idea is and then um, what decisions we've made across throughout the, throughout the sketch. So that is the assignment. And now I'm going to start drawing and you can enjoy. I don't know why the screen is not very clear. Uh, it's probably because of the Wi Fi. That's fine. It should be fine. So I guess what else uh, I'm going to start with is adjusting my camera. So um, basically in the grid, um, I, I realized that these hands um, need to be extended. Um, through the picture plane, um, through the edges of the picture. And I also think that that would help um, keep them with the figures of the, with the figure, with their figures. So basically, on the left side, there's, actually I can show you. Um,
Right. So now that you have seen that, um, I believe you you better understand what I'm trying to say here. Um, so this hand is um, the hand of the figure on the left, and then this one is um, the hand of the figure on the right. So um, I need to extend these um, such that they go out of the picture frame, um, and then also. For the background, I want to create an overlay um, with a medium tone, which kind of puts all the three pieces together. Um, it will also help viewers to visually glance, to visually know which piece to look at first. And I believe a gradient, like from light medium and from the darkest one it will help to do that and these are all the feedback i received from the critic so thank you so much to all of my dear classmates and artists if you're watching this live stream thank you Just gonna extend these. Now this one I kind of wanted to smudge through. So this one doesn't require much work to do. Although this if uh, the hand on the top would need um some effort because uh yeah I don't want to just smudge through and it will take some time to shade the thing.
Group this if you're ever using the um, word today, going up there.
And so here I'm just trying to blend the two parts of the corner. What is that music? Let's put some good music here. I was sure for you to the name Just me up cause I really, really don't care Why oh, I'm falling on I wonder if you will least Miss me when, miss me when I'm gone Oh, 
Stars up in the sky, directions hard to find. Till the stars up in the sky, I got lost in night. Till the stars up in the sky, directions hard to find. Till the stars up in the sky, I don't know what it takes. I don't want to break this. We're living in the moment. We're living in the moment. Your head is on my shoulder. We're getting older. Baby, it's you and I. Can you let me start to do this? I should not do this in our charcoal stick. All right. Okay. So we can turn this out later. Got it. The video is not over. The video is not over. Um, I'm going to bring another panel. And I need to add some things on it. So, be right back. For this one, I don't need to do much addition. Uh, I just need to create some um, reference to a place here. Um, like, like there's lines here receding um, so that you can see the body is still there. But here it looks like the head is just cut off. So that's all I needed to need to update on this one. I'm just gonna pull up. The picture for me. Mm -hmm. 
Meeple or Gladstone Co-op is hiring an estimator at our home center located in Meeple or Manitoba. As the estimator, you'll work closely with customers to provide advice and costs for their building projects. You'll be a leader for all in-house project planning. If you have an interest in the construction industry, visit our website for full job description and to apply online now at meepleorgladstonecoop.crs. Part of this message was donated from commercial just like organ donation inventory is limited but if you make the most of this opportunity you can give someone an upgrade bonus we are having a big summer trade in to give now that's a revolutionary new ride so become an organ donor and you can make someone's life more livable than ever it's the perfect gift that opens up new horizons and can save a lot oh, of take advantage of this exceptional offer and become a donor visit organ tissue donation.ca in a world of constant evolution, where the line between man and machine begins to blur, and a new age of possibility emerges. Just 
to me. Show me all that hurts me. So be sure to know it is. So I can talk to you. Read to me tales of things that haunt dreams that the brush in me see so I can breathe with you. The gallows bites your feet. The cough drops on your knees. So darling, when the rain comes crashing in, I'll be right here, have a listen to you say. Shout to me what they made you out. First class of stars, sweet. I can shout with you.
I'm going to show you the close up here. And now
There's the final piece. But it said that I was going to add a background to this. So this is what I was talking about. Um, adding a medium tone to this background. This one's background is usually um, keep them in a chronological order and uh, tell the big word that this is the first and then they look in an order. One, two, and three. Okay, so now let's talk about the concept of peace. What is this peace about? What does it mean? Um, how did I come up with it? What are the symbolism? And what choices did I make and why did I make them? All right. So first of all, um, the title of this piece is called Powerless Confidence. So um, Powerless Confidence. Um, so as I said before, the assignment is about making a body that um, body as a political site. So basically, um, what what I wanted to go for is um, in, in the real world, um, I believe being a male has a certain social expectations or norms, which I kind of wanted to challenge by drawing this piece. And that was my idea. So that is what I want to start with. So um, after a lot of thinking, I I just heard someone. Okay. So um, after a lot of thinking, I came up with this idea. Um, so basically, um, the body you see here is a normal, average male body. And then the body you see here is a idealized body. It is um, it is um, so basically I've exaggerated features, physical features of the body. Um, so you can see it's a very gym like um, muscular, physically powerful body. Um, so what I wanted to show is um, in the real world, most of most people might look at a male. Um, or judge a male by their appearance or their physique. So this body, um, this figure here is, of course, more about more physically powerful than the, that figure. But uh, what I wanted to show is uh, on the on the inside, like emotionally, I don't think that the person who is physically more powerful is always necessarily more powerful than the figure who is confident, who has um, self-confidence, who has emotional stability, who understands others, who can relate to others, and then who is a good listener, who, who helps people, basically. So um, this body, it's a normal average male body. Um, nothing great about it, but it has a pose that is powerful. So when when you see someone like in a 
like this. Um, it means that they are confident about themselves. They are happy to be where they are. And uh, they're not afraid of whatever's facing them. And also, uh, the viewpoint of the viewer, um, in this case me, is um, kind of below this figure or this body. So um, I'm keeping this, uh, I'm, I'm keeping the viewpoint, the angle that from which we're viewing the figure as uh, below the body. And that's what gives this body more power. And uh, combined with this pose, um, it, it feels more confident in itself. As opposed to that, um, this one here, um, firstly, it is all caged in to the edges of the compass, the picture plane. Uh, the background is all matte black, which, which suggests that this figure here is isolated, even though being in physical power, um, having an idealized or a perfect body, if I might say, um, he is still not facing us or the viewer. He is facing away from it. Um, he is in a pose that is not very strong. He might not be content about himself. He might not be ready to face or um, understand other people. Um, yeah. So um, also the figure, the picture plane um, shows the pyramid composition or an inverted pyramid, if I might say. So basically it's the inverted triangle here. And um, in fine arts or in any art, visual arts, um, when there's an inverted pyramid, um, it means that the artwork or the the figure you are showing in that number is or might be unstable. And that 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 helps visually. Um, while while this figure here you can see is more stable. It's in the triangle. And then um, it just feels more confident and um, more powerful than that figure, even though that figure is surely, surely more powerful physically than that figure. So this figure having more power, physical power, but that figure is much more confident. And that's why that figure is facing the viewer. This figure is not facing the viewer. It's in a pose that is not very confident. Um, it's in a kind of low pose. All right, so those two figures is what I came up with first. I felt that this is a good starting point for the, for the sketch, for the idea of this assignment. And then basically I wanted a third piece, which would kind of uh, keep the two figures together and create a narrative out of it. And so the third piece that I, design is two hands. So basically this hand is um, of the figure on the right. And then the, the, the hand on the top is um, of the figure up on the left. So basically um, what is happening here is the physically stronger figure or the idealized male figure or the body um, they are um, down on the picture plane, suggesting that they are not in power. They have a weak arm pose, and there's bandages for um, there's those cutouts that boxers use, um, and it suggests that the figure has is is more um, violent. Um, it's been through some physical violence, um, some fighting and stuff. And after all that, um, 
even even if it's it has a great eigenvalue physics, it's still in a uh, in a low area and uh, not confident and kind of like giving up pose of the hand. And so that's what I wanted to show here. And then um, to show that the average male human, average male body uh, whose hand is kind of lending a help towards um, the other figure. And that is what um, combines them to, to get, combines the two together and it builds a narrative. So um, basically, in the real world, um, any average looking male uh, might be feeling, might have a lot of self confidence, might be really, really helpful or a really good listener, and might also some in some ways help the other person who is physically more stronger. Uh, so basically, I, I just realized when I say basically a lot of times. Sorry about that. So uh, what, I, what I wanted to show um, through this prep deck is that um, no matter how strong you are physically, um, I believe in the real world, um, if you're emotionally understanding, if you can relate to others, if you can connect with other people, um, that's how we can build friendships or that's how we can build relationships. And that's how we can earn the trust of others versus um, just showing that you're um, good looking or showing that you're physically very strong. Um, that's not all it takes to gain someone's trust or to build a strong emotional connection with someone. And that is what I wanted to show here. So let me know in the comments how you like the concept and how these specific formal choices have helped reinforce my concept. And I'm just gonna show you the close-up of all three. Well, that is it. Um, I believe that is all I planned for this live stream. Um, this was also very, um, very spon spontaneous. Um, I did not think that I would be doing this live stream today. And I am. So. I just, I just wanted to um, complete this um, today and then or maybe I could also do a live stream along with it so that I don't get bored and so that I also 
can make some content for my socials. Well, that is it. I hope you all have a nice night or nice day, depending on wherever you're watching from. Bye.